guys, I'm home and I'm graduated. Yay! So I filmed this video like last term when I was in a place with like roommates and stuff. So it was a little jumbled and I wanted to iterate the purpose of this video. It's a little different than the other typical like what I eat in a day videos like in the YouTube world and that it's not telling you specific recipes to make. Well, and it's not as aesthetic. You can of course make what I did, but the purpose is to show how I cook for myself for each meal throughout a day in an efficient way such that if you're like really busy and you can't cook, that you can do the same. And what's really cool is that everything I make is really healthy. So if you are lazy, busy, or both, and want to save money while making something that's yummy and healthy, then keep watching. For breakfast, I'm starting with the classic avocado toast, but the real winner and difference here is that I'm using hard boiled eggs that I prepared in advance. This leads to my first tip and time saver, which is to make or prepare what you can ahead of time, either in bulk at the beginning of the week or just the night before. This essentially spreads out the time you'll have to spend making each meal. You don't have to boil eggs per se, especially if you prefer scrambled or something else, but something like overnight oats is really great too, which is something I also often make. <laughs> And we have this one large banana loaf, which is perfect for banana pancakes, so that's what I'm gonna make for my housemates. The pancake mixture is just one banana and three eggs and some cinnamon. It's usually two eggs per one banana, but this banana is large. All right, it's lunch, and today I'm going to stir fry up some bok choy and air fry some tofu. Then as for carbs, I like freezing like roasted sweet potato just for easy meal prep kind of. So I defrost them here and I'm gonna pop it in the microwave. Okay, wash my bok choy. Now I'm just gonna cut up my tofu, put it in the air fryer. This will go in eight minutes each side, so I'm gonna put it in before I start stir frying. Staggering when you do each step like this will save time. For things like tofu, I can just cut it in the container, so that's what I choose to do. It saves a step and it's potentially one fewer thing to wash. Because I'm lazy and I usually forget, I don't marinate, but at the end, I just add a sauce. Sometimes I press and dry the tofu, but usually not because the air fryer takes care of it. If you want it crispier, then yeah, press and dry it. But basically, I just want to show you ways to save time and energy with minimal decrease in food quality. Okay, first eight minutes of tofu is done. So I'm gonna just flip them and pop them back in. Okay, so right now I just added some olive oil and a lot of pre-minced garlic. When I cook, I like to make a lot at once because for stuff like this, like it doesn't really take more time when you cook more. And besides, like for today, I'm cooking some stuff for Angel too. Now I'm gonna just add some water because it'll steam. My mom yells at me for this, but it just cooks everything quicker. This is Angel's lunch, and it's exactly what I'm gonna have too. So with the three tofu's. So usually I try to eat talking with other people, but today everyone's pretty busy, so I'm just at my desk eating this other one. Let's try it. The air fryer is one of the best inventions. Also, to make all this, probably took like 20 to 25 minutes max. So very fast, but still healthy. This is today's afternoon snack, two cuties and some dark chocolate chips. Hey, it's dinner time and I just went for a run, hence my sweatiness, and tonight I have the kitchen to myself. So I'm going to do a few things today. Basically, I'm going to roast some broccoli and air fry some chicken. Oh crap. Um, okay, well, this is just going to have to work. And then air fry some chicken with a sauce and basically make a lot, kind of like my meal prep. Every time I like making a lot so that I can have leftovers and use them again. Here I'm using pre-washed vegetables. It might cost a little more, but it's worth the time you save. And vegetables are relatively cheap anyways, but I still haven't found vegetables like bok choy at the Asian store pre-washed. You'll notice that I don't measure anything or follow any recipe in this video, and that's because by cooking more, I just gained a sense for it. This past year basically sped up the turning into an adult process. Next, I have these chickpeas that I soaked starting this morning. I'm going to toss them around with some chili seasoning blend from Trader Joe's. I couldn't cook a year ago, as you can see in my previous what I eat when I made hot leaf juice, so I hope this inspires you guys to try. 
I'm just gonna dump them on this tray. This is like old tin foil that like they used for baking earlier, but I could just like reuse for this purpose. Cooking isn't as daunting as it may seem and playing around with different spices and cooking times with some reference using Google can actually be fun. And then you can pretty much make anything you wanna eat. And if you're a foodie like me, that's pretty cool. Next, I'm going to prep the chicken for air frying. I have six drumsticks here. Oh, usually my sister makes chicken wings, but she's not here today, so I'm going to do it by itself. Yeah, usually I roast chicken or like make chicken soup. This time it's gonna be this, and like chicken and broccoli maybe is like all oh, like kind of a boring, typical, healthy combination, but this is gonna be like a pumped up version, I guess. Because I also have chickpeas. and then do 20 minutes. All right, while my things are cooking, I'm going to BRB. By the way, one time I got a comment saying my friend was so lazy for saying TBH, but sometimes you just use shorthand because it's a vibe, you know, and a shower and wash up some of the other things. Ooh, so good. Things time to flip. Ooh, it's crispy. I love air fryer so much. This is leftover sauce from chicken wings like a couple nights ago. I'm gonna take one and toss it in the sauce. Voila, and this is the complete dinner. Mm. So excited. Mm. Wow, this is so good. It was so easy too. So when my sister makes this, she usually coats it in like cornstarch. Like I didn't even add any of the coating. And like honestly, this was freestyle. I googled a few things, it turned out really well. Crispy too. Seasoned everything perfectly today. Broccoli's juicy on the inside and it's crispy on the outside. Chickpeas are crispy as well. It's beautiful chicken. The last two I'll save for tomorrow lunch or have some for Angel to try for broccoli for the rest of the week or for my housemates as well. And then lots of chickpeas left. Anyways, that is what I eat in a day. So thanks for watching as always. And please don't forget to like and subscribe.